Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing another weekly oracle card guidance reading and we are looking at what is it that we need to hear right now, what is the most pertinent message for us at this moment, uh, what are the answers to our questions that we may have right now, what is uh, the typical energy at this moment. So I'll try to do an energy forecast in which I describe the typical energies for the moment uh, during this week. Um, and uh, but if I if I don't get to that, then I just want to mention that the energies at play at this moment are, are very productive energies. Uh, you could do a lot more than you've been able to do in the last six months or so. And um, it's it's as if, you know, we've had the pause button be pressed for us in these last few months. But now it's like time to go again and things can start flowing again. And it's important to move ahead with things right now and just to grapple I mean, not to grapple, but to grab a hold of this energy and just to move with it. But anyway, right now, uh, for this week's Oracle uh, card guidance, we have uh, the Magical Unicorns uh, deck here by Doreen Virtue. We have another deck uh, of cards here by Doreen Virtue. It's called Angel Answers. And uh, this one is called the Gateway Oracle Cards by Denise Lin. So I was inspired to... Uh, use very light energy cards today and so I was trying to find any, uh, cards where the energies kind of matched each other um, not anything too intense or too heavy and uh, let's just see what comes out of them so once again it's um, deck number one deck two and deck three please go ahead make your selection you'll find the timestamp in the description box below and you may go directly to your reading Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the deck number one. And we have, for those of you who've chosen this deck here today, we have the Magical Unicorns, uh, Magical Unicorns Oracle Cards by um, Doreen Virtue. And we're asking, what is the message that you've come here to hear today? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? And we ask the energy of these cards to come forth and give us our message. Oops. We have something here already. I'm just going to go with that. Uh, because recently I've just found that, uh, well, at least now I feel that this card is coming forth in a very precise and very uh, direct way. And so it must be the message that you've come here to hear. And the card is titled Worth Waiting For. Your patience will be rewarded. So if there is a question, if you've been asking, well, shall I wait for this person or shall I wait for this the right job opportunity to come along? Or shall I wait for the right kind of housing to appear? Can I, shall I wait for exactly what I'm looking for to come about? Or shall I just take what's available right now? Well, the answer is to your question is it's worth waiting for, right? So what do you desire? What do you long for? What do you dream about? What is worthy of you is worth waiting for. And your patience will be rewarded. So you will actually have what you're looking for. So if you've been wondering, you know, um, if you should do something or if you should hold back on something, the, you know, take this answer and apply it to your situation uh, because it is actually, you know, you will be rewarded if you actually persevere at this moment. And what I'm hearing also is that um, you just need to take a step back um, at this moment and look at the bigger picture and then see, you know, what, how far you've come along your path and how far you need to go within with regard to a specific goal, whether it be family related or whether it be related to your work or your studies or with regard to your personal life on some level, your finances or your home, or if you've been wanting to move somewhere, if you're wanting to change your job, something to that effect. I just see how far you've come, you know, take a look at how much you've done already. And because what I see is that you are further along, you know, I see it like you at least like more than a third on your way along your your path and uh, what I'm hearing is that you've done a lot of the groundwork already so just you know hang in there persevere don't lose sight of what it is that you desire and and stick with that and you will actually get to where you're heading ultimately and it would it will be worth it right you will be it will be worth it so even if it's a struggle right now even if it looks really bleak right now or if it looks as if it's not really worth it or you have down moments well just hang in there because it will what what you, where you're headed to 
it's been it's worth your weight it's worth it's worth the struggle it's worth the pers perseverance it's worth the determination it's worth hanging on to this thing right now so don't you know you don't need to give up right now or you don't need to actually walk away or turn away uh if you've been losing hope or faith in your in your situation don't right now okay so that is your message for those of you who've chosen this uh, first deck here which was the magical unicorn by Doreen Virtue. I wish you very well in the week ahead and I hope that whatever difficulties that you are experiencing right now is resolved uh, pretty soon. Okay, sending you much love and many blessings for the week ahead. So for those of you who have chosen the uh, second deck here, uh, this is the Angel Answers by Doreen Virtue. Um, we are asking the same question as we ask every week. What is it that we need to hear right now? What is the advice that we, um, what that would assist us right now in our journeys? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shuffle. Okay, so I have romance. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. I was, as I was shuffling the cards, I was asking that we um, receive a card that makes sense, you know, because this deck has uh, cards such as, well, I don't really remember very well, but I think they have timing related uh, cards. And um, yeah, so I was asking, well, send me a card that makes sense for my, for, for my, for the people are watching this and for, for my subscribers or viewers. And we have romance. And so the first feeling I got when I received this card was that this is to do with love. And this has to do with, you know, you longing for some love or longing for a particular love in your life. So for those of you who are actually longing for love um, in your lives, if you want to create love in your lives, or if you're looking for this romance, if you're seeking this romance, what I'm hearing here is that this is a romance that you need to create. You'll need to actually go out and make it happen for you. And you need to actually uh, look on your path and see if you are blocking romance in your path. You, you need to see whether you are an obstacle to romance in your path. And you also need to look at whether you truly want it. And um, yeah, and so that is the first message there, right? For others here, I'm feeling that, uh, well, it's like a feeling like love is in the air right now. So I feel like romance is at its peak at this moment. I'm not sure of the astrological configurations. Uh, I don't know where Venus is placed and all of that right now. But uh, what I'm hearing is that this feels to me, or this right now, this card, this message here speaks of love being in the air and things coming to fruition uh, cycles coming to an end and uh, love coming to bear in a way that it hasn't been so far. So if you've been waiting for a particular situation to kind of come to an end so that a new situation could give birth in, in your love life, then this is the time, this is the, the sign that you've been waiting for. And uh, in many of your situations, this is um, a sign of you coming together at this moment in a way that is pure and um really in tune with love this is something to do with uh two loves with equal with an equal relationship um with equal standing coming together and actually just merging it feels to me like a divine kind of light coming from this love that can exist or that is that is does exist and uh, yeah so this is what i'm hearing i'm hearing that this is the as the time for love and your love that you've been waiting for can come together at this moment. This is the time when that can actually happen. Now, if you're feeling that there are still blockages in your path or you still can't actually get to that point where you are able to bring this love to fruition or you can actually manifest uh, the blockages away, you can manifest the obstacles away and you can, you know, clear your, your path for this love. So, um, this is something that um, is, is you know, is, is your message here. You need to allow this love to be. Um, so that, that's actually a theme that runs for you, even if you are with, don't have someone, uh, even if you're not looking for someone. It's like allowing the romance to be, allowing the love to be, because this is a time in which the love is bubbling to the surface. 
and this love is being um it's being shown upon you like a spotlight and it, it feels like you know whereas we've been in a time where love is not being love is taking the back seat or it's not been a priority it's been more like self development etc uh we've come now to a time where love is in the air and love is 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 it's bubbling it's like this geyser which is waiting to uh to shoot through and it's just like this bubbling heat um and and i feel like you know a lot of opportunities exist right now for those who are single as well as for those who are with uh, someone um or even for those who are not with someone but are longing for someone there are a lot of opportunities right now in terms of love so i'm just trying to hear if i feel anything right now okay so one of the things i'm hearing you is that um uh it's important to ask okay so th what they're saying is like don't be shy to ask for the assistance that you need right now so don't be sh uh, shy to actually say well okay i i want love in my life or i'd like love in my life or i'd like more romance in my life or i'd like a feeling of love in my life and i want to, i don't need someone in my life to share my life with uh or i don't even if i'm with someone it's not like i i need that person right now but what i need is this love and please show me how i can manifest this in my life or show me how i can actualize it in my life right now and so what they're saying is don't be afraid to ask these questions don't be afraid to ask for the help that you need right now because actually what you're doing when you're asking for that assistance it's not like some angelic being is going to be standing there and taking your order and you know and <laughs> manufacturing it for you and delivering it to you what you're doing at that moment is you're aligning your yourself um and opening yourself up for an opportunity where love can enter and you, you're doing so um you know you're readying yourself for it you're making yourself available for it and you are saying you're giving the signal out to the universe that you're actually ready for this so you actually can attract something that you might not be able to attract otherwise into your life okay so that is your message for those of you who've chosen this uh deck here the uh angel answers by doreen virtue and i wish you all uh, much love and uh, much romance in your lives in the weeks ahead okay sending you uh, many blessings from christmas rising and so for those of you who've chosen uh the third deck right here the question we're asking today is what is it that we need to hear and what is our message for this week what is waiting to come through to us right now oops there's a card here already it's sharing of yourself i'm an incredible generous being okay so this is interesting because all these cards that i've pulled today from these three decks have the same kind of feeling uh, that's in alignment with the energy at the moment and part of this energy right now is sharing of oneself it's it's like coming out of a stage of being a hermit and and being able to share of oneself being able to share one's knowledge with the world being able to to give of yourself of your of your generosity of your kindness and being able to influence the world in that in that way and the message here is i'm an incredible generous being so it's about feeling that it's about actually coming into into being into real uh, kind of a sense of um uh, of knowing uh that in your life so what i'm hearing here is that this this you are always this incredibly generous being you're just not you're just not in touch with that all the time you're just not um able not always able to give of yourself in this way and what are we talking about we're not talking necessarily about giving of yourself financially or materially but we're talking about being able to give your love into this world so you know being being how do you do that you do that by being less cynical you do that by being less judgmental less um more open minded more um you know giving forth more understanding towards another person's situation or another person's reality so whereas one may actually be quite uh defiant or uh pol polarized uh towards a particular situation being generous allows one to actually step forth and be able to see things from the other person's perspective or the other party's perspective as well um the one that's opposite to your own and so you know sharing of yourself with regard to that just being more available uh in terms of being able to think more freely think more openly um sharing of yourself in terms of you know stepping out of of 
of a state where you may be really self-involved or self-concentrated and, and sharing of, with your, of yourself by being with other people simply by providing a service or providing your company to others is is generous in itself so it's it's acts of um of generosity um like that okay the other thing i'm hearing right here is that you need not be afraid of how others see you or what people think of you in the situation you need not uh, be concerned about how you may be viewed as a result of your change of opinion about something or your change of gait uh, or your your change in the way in which you interact with the world. Don't be concerned or, or don't hear what others have to say about that. You need not uh, do that. You simply need to be the best that you can be. You simply need to be not even the best that you can be, they're saying, but actually just be like who you really are in this world as you as you can be. And right now, you're at a stage where your vibration is... Um, is of a stage of fulfillment, right? There is a sense that you are satiated with life and therefore you are in a better stage, you're in a better off than some others are right now and therefore you can afford to be generous as a result. And I'm not talking about materially necessarily, even though that may apply to you materially. This is more to do with, you know, opening your heart and being able to share with others, share your goodness, share your kindness, uh, share your, your simply being human with the others and this in itself will actually bring you closer to where you need to be or, you know, where you're headed to. And uh, this is probably not why you've come here. You know, you've come here probably to hear something else. And, and this might not be a direct answer to your question. But what I'm hearing is that this this is what you need to hear right now. Like, you might think that this is not what you need to hear right now. You might be hoping that you'd hear something else or more, something more concrete. And this feels like it's going off on a tangent. But actually what I'm hearing is that if you are to embrace a little bit more of this, you know, even if it feels, even if you feel a bit of resistance towards it at first and it's not coming so naturally to you and you're not feeling necessarily uh, satiated with your life right now, you're not, you know, you're feeling a degree of frustration, just simply... Uh, tapping into that aspect of you, which is generous, will in fact help you. Uh, it'll be like a stepping stone to get to where you need to right now, okay? Or where you're headed to in terms of your well-being, in terms of your development, or in terms of whatever you are uh, concerned about in your life at this moment. So that is the message for today. For those of you who've chosen uh, this deck of cards here, which are the Gateway Oracle cards. And... Uh, yeah, thank you very much for coming by. I hope these messages have resonated with you and I hope they help you in some way. And I am wishing you all of the best, much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.